Even though the Fukushima nuclear disaster in Japan has disappeared largely from the front pages of newspapers, at least here in the United States, the crisis still continues and is apparently, in fact, worsening. Here's what a special witness at the Diet, the Japanese parliament, said at the end of July on new radiation measurements. My team at the Radioisotope Center took it upon ourselves to measure and calculate the total amount of radioactive contamination using all of our expertise on the subject, and found the total amount of leakage to be about 29.6 times the amount of contamination caused by the nuclear bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Assuming the source material to be uranium, we think the total amount of leakage is about 20 times the contamination caused by the Hiroshima bomb. There were also reports that the ground under the crippled nuclear facility is beginning to crack as the nuclear core is melting down into it. And deadly radioactive steam might be now spewing from those cracks, further hampering efforts to contain the crisis. As one unnamed Fukushima worker emailed to a friend earlier this month, a lot of the cracks came up in the ground. Massive steam is coming up from there. It's too smoggy here, can't see a thing. It seems like a nuclear reaction is happening underground. Now we are evac evacuating. Watch out for the direction of wind. So what exactly is going on there? And why the media blackout on this increasingly severe nuclear disaster? Here to offer some answers is Paul Gunter, director of the Re Reactor Oversight Project at Beyond Nuclear. Paul, welcome back. Thanks again for having us, Tom. Um, I, it's, it's, I, it's, I appreciate your being here. I, it's, it's a shame, though, that this is just continuing. Uh, 160 it, it, days now. Yeah. Uh, in fact, that, that clip that we just played of the guy in the diet uh, testifying was sent to me by a dear friend of mine who's Japanese and lives in Tokyo. He's, they're really starting to get worried. I mean, this, this uh, uh, cracks at the plant, radioactive steam coming out of the earth, uh, that sounds an awful lot like, and my knowledge of this is limited to having seen the Jane Fonda movie, but that sounds a lot like the China syndrome, the core melting down through the earth and hitting the water table. Right. That's, that's clearly a concern that we've had all along that uh, we know now that the, there have been three meltdowns at the reactors uh, at this six-unit site and that uh, the vessel has failed. Uh, now what seems to be the situation is that, is that this corium, this melted reactor uh, core, has burned through the concrete floor of the reactor building or buildings and has now uh, burned into the uh, earth and reaching groundwater is creating steam and uh, what the readings we're seeing uh, now suggest that it's off scale for the um, instrumentation that's being used by workers which is 10 sieverts per hour uh, so right now it looks like the, it's the 10 thousand millisieverts it's uh, it's one million um, uh, millirem it's uh, 500, so 500 rem is a lethal dose. This is 1,000 rem coming out of these cracks. So we're seeing, um, you know, doses that could cause fatalities within Let's days. Just, just put this in a context that people understand. You said it's a million millirems. How many millirems is, uh, say, a, a dental x-ray or a chest x-ray? Well, X the USNRC, uh, the permissible dose for the public is 100 millir uh, millirem per year. This is one, millirem, one million millirem per hour. Wow. So these are lethal doses that are coming up out of the ground. So, you know, they've been uh, looking to contain this accident by building uh, tents over the reactor units, which is kind of ludicrous in and of itself and shows the desperation measures that well, are it, now it, being it, employed. But now it's coming up out of the ground through cracks around the facility. So the, um, the accident is now you know, clearly much more seriously out of control than they're willing to admit. It's a 